Did you know you can enable hidden Windows features? I'll show you how using Vive Tool. Vive Tool is a free open source app to enable unreleased features in your Windows OS. Here's how to install the Vive Tool GUI and how to enable or disable some of the features you've been missing. To install Vive Tool, open up a browser and go to GitHub. In the search, type in Vive Tool. You'll see this Peter Strick Vive Tool GUI. Click on that. And then over to the right, down a little ways, you'll see the latest version listed here. Click on latest. It gives you some information about the tool. Scroll down and click on Vive Tool GUI Setup. That'll download the Vive Tool GUI. In this case, it prompts us with some security. We'll go ahead and say keep it. Click on show more and keep anyway. And then we're going to open the exe file. And again, more warnings to protect your PC. Just click on more information and run anyway. And again, we'll install anyway. Yes, we want to install it. We'll accept the agreement, hit next. And in this case, we'll just do the GUI, create a desktop icon and do the install. Finish that. And it opens Vive Tool. Once Vive Tool is installed, the first thing you need to do is select the build of your Windows OS. In order to find out what your build number is, come down here to the start, type in Winver, hit enter, and it brings up your Windows version of the OS build. And you can see right here, mine is Windows 11 build 25314. So in this pull down menu, I'm gonna select the 25314 build. That goes through the process of loading all the features for that particular OS build, which takes quite a while because there are a number of features available here. The features are summarized into these different categories and we'll focus mainly on features that are modifiable. For the rest of this video, I'll show you specific hidden features you can enable here in the Vive tool, even some that are only available in the Windows Insider Preview version. Most of these will work for you even if you don't have the newer version of Windows. So let's dive into some highly desired hidden features. Once you've installed Vive Tools, it works very simply. All you have to do is find a feature ID and either enable or disable it. Let's take a look under features that are modifiable and you'll see a list of feature IDs here with the setting to the right, which is either default, enabled or disabled. And if you scroll down this list, you'll see a very cryptic name associated with each of these. So it's hard to understand what the real setting does. But what I like to do is search for a feature ID based on information I have from other sources. So for example, let's take a look at the volume mixer option, which is this feature ID 42106010. Under sound options, you can see that it's currently disabled. In order to enable it, we're going to click on that entry and up here under perform action, we're going to select activate feature and it turns that on. Now this one requires a reboot before it's active. So I'm going to reboot this computer and I'll come back and show you what it does. And we're back. Now if I click down here with the left mouse button and go to this setting, you can see that spatial audio is now turned on and so is volume mixer, which allows you to adjust the volume for different apps that you have running. That's a feature that's not available until you get into a very recent insider preview version of Windows, but you can enable it in your version of Windows just by selecting this feature ID. As newer versions of Windows comes out, some of these features will be enabled by default. This just gives you the ability to turn it on earlier than the Windows version that you have installed. Now it's important to remember these feature IDs and what the setting is so that you can turn them off if you need to. Let's take a look at some other feature IDs. Some people were not happy with the change on the search area here from a simple icon. And if you have a very new version of Windows, you can right click, go to taskbar settings, and you'll see these options to change the search to just an icon only or a full search box. 
But 5 Tools allows you to reset this back to the normal icon if you don't have those menu options available. Just search for this feature ID, 392-63329. That brings up the search box pill button. Right now it's enabled. All you have to do is change that to deactivate it. Reboot your computer. It'll go back to the original magnifying glass search. In a recent version of the Windows OS update, Microsoft added this new feature called Start Menu Recommendations. But unfortunately, they didn't allow a way to disable this and many Windows users don't like it. But with five tools, there is a feature ID that you can enable that gives you a menu option to be able to turn on and off that feature. 4291642.8 is disabled by default. We'll go ahead and activate this feature and then do a quick reboot. Now that it's active, you can right click on your desktop, go to Personalize, scroll down to Start, and now you'll have this new option, Show Recommendation for Tips, Shortcuts, New Apps, and More, and you can turn that feature off to eliminate that recommendation area. Now in my testing, it still shows this here, but it no longer collects the information. But in the meantime, you can use that Vive Tool feature ID to give you the option to turn it off. There are two feature IDs that you can enable energy recommendations, which is a new menu option in the very recent version of Windows OS. If you don't have them already, this is how you turn it on. The first one, 39427030, and activate that feature. And the second one, 4124924, activate that feature. And now when you go into Start Settings, under System, go to Power, you'll see these energy recommendations. And this allows you to set your power mode for the best efficiency for energy use. This one's pretty cool and it does not require a reboot. Search for 43132439 and enable that feature. Now go to your Start Settings Windows Updates and check for updates. You'll see this option right here now to get the latest updates as soon as they're ready for your PC. Turn that on this will prioritize your PC to get the latest updates as soon as they roll out, even before they're released to the general population. Another one is the File Explorer Live Search. Search for 38665217, and you'll see this option here. Activate that feature. It will require a reboot. And now when you open up the File Explorer, and let's say we go into our program files folder. When you start typing something in the search, it automatically starts searching down the list without having to hit enter. That's the File Explorer Live Search. That's just a few of the feature IDs available for Vive Tool. Be sure to look in the description of this video for a list of these and other feature IDs that are interesting. Post a comment if you found one that you'd like to share. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.